Send for class. Every Jamaica knows we use sorrel to make sorrel drink for Christmas. But today, owner and operator of Lunch Tree Catering, Laura Shade, is going to tell us how to make sorrel jam and show us how to add it to our Christmas nyamings. I love it. Hi, lovely. How are Hello, you? Hello, I'm good. And you? I'm very, very good. Very excited. I see sorrel on the table and there is no Christmas without sorrel, right? There isn't. Okay, but no, you're not giving it to us in a drink form. You're giving it to no, us I'm not. in a jam form. Yes, okay. jelly, chutney, whatever you want to call it. But tell us how you got started. Okay, um, lunch tree catering was started in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, I was always cooking for people for free and I was like, hmm, maybe I should start charging people to cook for them. So I decided to do that. <laughs> and Love I've been that. doing it since then. Okay, good. Uh, well, you see? Hey, and I'm sure that it has been going good for you because it's stuff yeah, you know, nice. entrepreneur ups and downs, but yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, so let's walk, uh, let's get into it because time is going and okay. I, I want to make sure I make this correctly okay. and they carry me through the process. Okay, so we have the pot, the sorrel, which is still in its raw form. Yes, it is. Right, some sugar. Lime juice, am I guessing correctly? Lemon. Lemon juice, mm -hmm. okay. And some a cinnamon. cinnamon stick and five cloves. And five cloves, yes, okay. For Where spice. The cloves? Oh yes, the cloves are yes. over there. Yes, they're in there. All right, good. So what we do first, honey? <laughs> okay, so we'll add all our ingredients into our pot. So okay. sorrel, lemon juice, and the spices would be in the pot. And then you add your water. Okay. Water is supposed to be below the sorrel. One the inch water below. is supposed to be below the soil? Yes, because you so want it to cover it. No. Because, you know, in true Jamaican style, any time at all we're boiling things, the water has to be drowning it. So. I guess for the juice, but right. not for this, because okay. we need it to be thick. All right, so let's add the water to the, to the pot. No. Does it matter the type of pot? Dutch mm, pot? No, no, it doesn't. Okay. First, we'll add the soil. And the soil has been washed and cleaned. Yes, and yes, all that yes. Already. It <laughs> smells good already. All right. Uh, Love that. Right. How long does it, the process usually take though? Um, it's quite a while. It's, it's five to, it's 10 to 15 minutes wow. to boil first. Cause you have to wait until it gets boiled. Okay. And then, yeah. Adding the lime juice or the lemon, lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yes. And the spices. And the cinnamon the and the cloves. Yeah. What is cloves? Cause many people think a clove means a clove of garlic. And then I'm going to go to the supermarket and say, can I have three no, cloves of garlic to go inside my jam? It's actually a spice. Okay, good. Yes. All right. So we would put this on to boil. Yes. Once it starts boiling, we we'll turn it down, allow it to simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. Then we'll remove it from the stove. Okay. Then um, we'll go ahead with the sorrel. We'll remove the sorrel pulp from the... Right. Mm -hmm. And then measure that in a cup. And add the sugar after that? Yes. No, no, not the sugar yet. After adding the sorrel pulp right. to the jar, measuring it, whatever amount of sorrel pulp it is, that's the amount of sugar that we're going to use. Oh, so you don't overload the whole thing with sugar? No. So we're okay. measuring the pulp. So once we measure the pulp, whatever amount of pulp we have, right. that's the amount of sugar we'll use. Okay. But we do remove the cinnamon stick and the five cloves. Right. Okay. And the consistent, consistency that we're looking for is something that is... Jam, jelly-like. But we're not done yet. Okay. After doing that, then we have to put it in our blender, blend it, then return to the pot and boil again. No, but me study. <laughs> no, this part is so like it's a whole jam. So. Yeah, you're making a jam. You're making so a jam. Put it in the blender and yes. blend it out and then do everything all over again? Yes. Boil. Turn it down five to ten minutes. Okay. Check for consistency, and then remove yeah. from remove from the stove. Put it in your jars after you've washed it, of course, and then allow it to cool, seal, and add it to the refrigerator. Does it taste any different from my sorrel drink? It does. How different? Uh, I guess it's because of the spices. Right. And there's no red label and no rum, no ginger. You can add ginger if you want, but. You know what kind of sorrel is this, Clive? How are you going to have this? Uh, how are you going to have sorrel without the, the spirits inside of it? Yeah, there's so none. is it that I can add spirit after the fact though? Could I add spirit to I spice guess if you own? want to. Okay. If you're making a slush okay. or if you're making a milkshake, you can add some. But there are no spirits inside this no. um, lunch tree catering your brand. Yes, it is. Of, of uh, jam. Okay. No. All right. And where is, where is this available? Um, well, we're located in Mandeville, Ward okay. Spark, Hatfield. Okay, love this. And I've seen you've already gone ahead to use it for breakfast already. Yes. So we have some French toast here. Some, tell us what we have. So we have French toast topped with the jam. 
and turkey sausages and scrambled eggs. Okay, nice. All right. So how we're going? To, I see some waffle as well. So tell me what we're going to do with the waffle. Okay. So what we're gonna do is add our vanilla ice cream to mm -hmm. our waffle. Love that, Jesus. Um. Ooh. Okay. And then, can you hand me that, please? Sure. Thank Your you. Your trusty assistant is here. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, please, can you go along with this, please, so that the camera can just get to the consistency of this? <laughs> this is so nice. Look at that. So nice. And it pours easily, so it's not yes, one of them very does. thick jams. And you can even use it over chicken. You can use the salad yeah. over chicken? Yes. Go. I'll share how to do that on my page on Instagram. And yeah. Glory. <laughs> Best news I've heard all day. Yes. Okay. So that's waffle and uh, vanilla, ice, vanilla cream ice cream and, and sorrel, um, jam. sorrel jam. Sorrel jam. Okay, cool. So um, I bet that I'm going to end up putting on pounds, Christmas pounds early because of this, right? Um, yes. But I, I love this. Thank you so much for joining us. What's going to be next for you? Any new line of products for next year? Um, well, I do have a juice brand called Fruits and Veggie Blends and um, we'll, we're looking to do more flavors. Yeah. So add some more flavors. Yeah. And on a personal note, what are you looking forward to most for Christmas? I'm spending time with the family and cooking. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas cooking. Day showdown. I love yes. that. And on the menu, there is sorrel, of course. Yes, there is sorrel. Okay. All and right. We're definitely going to try this out. Okay. Well, hey, I love that. Thanks for passing through weekend smile. Thanks for having me. Very nice recipe. I want to yes. taste it. Go I'm ahead. Can I just, you know, when yeah. your mommy cook things, like, go ahead yeah, and taste the back of the spoon? <laughs> yeah. Go is that ahead. okay? Can I taste the back of the spoon? Yes, you can. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. And you can add ginger to your recipe this if you is want really good. ginger. No, you know what I'm tasting? A lot of cinnamon. Hmm. Again, and it's just one cinnamon stick. Mm. This is very good. I love this. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much wow. for having me. Laura Shaday, <laughs> owner and operator of Lunch Tree Catering. Thank you for joining us. Thanks Up for next, guys, me. everyone's favorite show, Greetings.